uh, operating local 1139 and 1117 together from the command station directly using speed steps and you see lock 17 and 39 and they're using DCC 128 one in 128 speed steps and we'll see the result on the track both 11.39 and 11.17 now set to speed step 10 at the same time and we see 11.39 is clearly quicker than 11.17 speed step 10 11.39 and 11.17 at speed step 20 both at the same time and we see 11, again 11.39 is quicker than 11.17 in rock rail 1139 and 1117 are a consist or multi traction unit so they're operating from rock rail so here we see let's hope you can see that here we see 1117 and I'll operate the throttle just on that one and we'll see it's multi-traction both running at the same time about 30 k's and we see that they're running at approximately the same speed so the command from rock rail is a speed command miles per hour kilometers per hour whatever your choice is but the speed command is related to the maximum speed uh, and the curve of the, um, of the locomotive and you see then that on the command station the speed is translated into a different speed step for each locomotive and therefore they're, uh, they're speed matched so from the throttle using with rock rail I'll set the speed again to about 20 to 30 clicks for both locomotives and you see then automatically 1117 is speed step 28 and 1139 is speed step 22 matching their speeds let me explain how this is done back to zero and they're both back to zero the reverse direction forty clicks this is the reverse direction and we see one is at 36 and the other at 28 compensating for their speed differences okay how's the speed matching done in uh, in rock rail uh, here's locomotive 1117 and in the rock rail you can set the speeds that you want to run at minimum medium cruise and maximum in the table here the maximum speed, 140, is the speed at the highest uh, speed step. So for this locomotive, the speeds, minimum, medium, cruise, are all related to the maximum speed. Um, this is 1117, it was the slower locomotive. So with a slower VMAX, the relative speed of the other speed limits, 
minimum medium crews uh, are relatively higher. In this case cruise is uh, nearly half of the VMAX. So with a lower VMAX uh, this lo locomotive gets relatively higher speed commands for the same uh, kilometer per hour mile per hour speed required. And that's how it's compensated. We'll have a look at 1139. So here's 1139, which uh, you saw was the quicker locomotive off the block, as it were. And here we have the VMAX for this locomotive is 180. And therefore, the other speeds are relatively lower. Cruise in this case is one third instead of nearly half. So it's one third for, for 1139. And it was one half, approximately nearly one half for uh, 11.17. So by playing with a single parameter per locomotive in the VMAX, but setting the minimum, the median, and the cruise speeds to approximately the same values, by just changing the VMAX, the other values send approximately the same speed to the, to the locomotive and that's translated into a different speed step by the command station. So one single parameter in rock rail provides an entire speed mapping for locomotives and speed matching. No need for changing CVs or anything else, just one parameter uh, is all that's required. Okay, if I uh, go on the throttle to 11.39, we see that 11.39 is joined with 11.117 there. So if also if I operate 11.39, they'll both go at the same time. So now the speed command, 30 and they're running at approximately the same speed. So speed matching using a speed command for rock rail is extremely easy. No need to change CVs on locomotives or anything like that.